Welcome to my first video um, comparing string orchestral libraries. This is the first of what I hope will be a number of parts. Uh, this one focuses purely on legato capabilities and touches also a little bit on mic selections on a few of the, uh, the string libraries that are the most popular or some of the most popular at the moment amongst composers. The four libraries I'll be covering in these series are Berlin Strings, Hollywood Strings, LA Scoring Strings, and Adagio. Uh, there are a few other great choices out there, um, Cinematic Strings, um, the, the BEML range, Sable and Mural come to mind, but these tests are obviously limited to libraries that I've chosen to purchase for myself, um, so unfortunately I can't do the libraries I don't own. Uh, just to, to give you a an overview at the beginning. The main purpose is to show you these libraries out of the box. I'm going to try my best to keep my opinions to myself and I'm going to try and let you decide what you like the best. I'd also like to keep the videos on the short, shorter side. Um, I can tend to drag on a bit. If you've seen my other videos, you're probably nodding your head right now. All right, so this video is not going to cover articulations available. I'm not even going to show or talk about resources that they use. I just want to cover um, briefly the mic positions available as that has a pretty huge effect on the overall sound. I want you to make sure you listen particularly uh, to the tone of the recordings, the expression in the samples, um, and also the playability. While that's probably going to be hard, uh, harder for you to pick up on, you, you probably will be able to hear it as I'm playing. I'm going to play a few things live and raw, very raw. And I've also recorded a few things here uh, that I've played live as well in my door, which I can compare the libraries against each other easily more uh, later. All right, so the template I've got here, I've just simply loaded up the libraries, you know, out of the box. I've just loaded all the legatos for Berlin strings. As you can see, I've only got the tree mics loaded. Um, I'll be honest, it's not my favorite mic position, but this is how it comes loaded, and I'm going to try and be true to, um, to the default settings of each library. Um, Hollywood strings, same thing. I've decided to load the powerful slur patches, the, most, uh, the ones that are the most powerful in, in Hollywood strings. I've also loaded, I've loaded the Mikato version, so basically that means if I hit a hard note at the start, it means I'm going to get a nice attack, which is one thing I really like and improves playability a lot. LA Scoring Strings, same thing. Uh, you can modify the sound a little bit in LA Scoring Strings by using color profiles. I'm going to try and restrain myself and just leave it alone. Um, and so I've just loaded the legato, the, the, the full section legato patches um, in, in, in there. Adagio, this was a bit trickier because Adagio comes with so many different legato patches. Um, and if, if I was talking purely about flexibility of different legato styles, Adagio would come out pretty close to the top. I've chosen to load the master patches where possible. Um, these, these patches will adapt to how I'm playing a little bit. And they're kind of just a simple, nice, clean one. Adagio is capable of more slow, expressive options as well, but I won't get into that in this video. For the violas and the basses, I've just loaded the patches that I think are the smoothest and the most versatile um, in the interest of keeping everything kind of fair and even. No library should be louder than the other. I've gone through and checked that very carefully. Um, but let's begin. All right, so I'm going to begin um, by playing a melody. It's a medium-length melody on the first violins across all sections. I've tried to pick a melody that will show slow, medium, and fast phrases inside it. Um, listen especially to the sound and the playability. I'm going to be playing it live. I'll try and throw up my mod wheel where possible so that you can see exactly kind of what's going on. Berlin Strings has a a nice little meter here that shows you the dynamics. Um, so I will be using CC1 and CC11 where necessary. Different Hollywood strings and Adagio to some extent require that I use both CC1 and CC11. So I, I will be doing that. I'm not going to do one of those tests where I use the same MIDI file and, and chuck it in because each library plays so differently. So I'm going to play it live and I'm going to be using my knowledge of those libraries to kind of adjust how I'm playing each line. 
with the goal of trying to make it sound as similar as possible um, to each other. Um, all right, let me just make sure I'm ready to go. All right. First one is Berlin Strings. This is uh, Violins 1. Excuse any sloppiness. This is obviously not the libraries in their best light. It's their libraries just as they are. Let's do Hollywood strings. My playing the first time in that faster part probably didn't do it justice, so I just repeated it at the end there. Oh, sorry, this is LA scoring strings. Once again, terrible playing, but you get the idea. Um, adagio. Uh, I will preface this by saying it's not really designed for faster phrases. So if it sounds like it's struggling, it's because it is. Um, no, that's not my opinion. I'd like to say it's just a fact. All right, here we go. So you get an idea of the tone, the playability, a little bit there. In the interest of keeping on moving forward, I'm going to show you each of the other sections just quickly now. Because the libraries are quite similar internally in the way that their playability kind of handles, I'm not going to play a long line. I'm just going to let you hear the, the sound of the recordings, where it's placed on the stage, how much... Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let you decide. So I'll go through violin two now uh, for each instrument. Berlin strings first. Hollywood strings. That I noticed sounded a little bit quieter. I haven't touched any internal volumes though, just the balance must be quieter in Hollywood strings. LA scoring strings. Uh, I, I should actually mention that both Adagio and LA scoring strings have just modified their violin one samples to become violin two samples. So I think that's worth mentioning. Um, Adagio. Let's move on to violas. Uh, 
Hollywood Strings now. That was Berlin. LA Scoring Strings. Adagio. All right, cellos, Berlin strings. strings. LA scoring strings. Adagio. And finally, the basses, Berlin strings. That was a little fiddle from me there, sorry. Hollywood strings. LA scoring strings. All right, I should mention here too that um, I should show you actually the flexibility these legato patches have very quickly um, on their attacks. So I'll just do that quickly on each first violin. I'll play a soft note entrance. I'll do it using everything, all the tools at my disposal, being at CCs or velocities for each library. Um, I'll, I'll play a slow attack and then a nice loud attack just so you can hear what's capable, what they're capable of. This is all within the same patch. Uh, Berlin strings violins. All right, so it's quite capable of soft attacks. And then... Um, I want to say something about that, but I'm not going to, but I'll give you a hint. It's all right. Um, and Hollywood strings attack. Now, the only reason this is going to have some attack is because I've loaded the Mikato um, editions of these... Um, Legatos, so um, I think you might like to do that too, but here's a soft attack. All right, I don't know why I'm doing soft attacks. We can sculpt that anyway with CCs, but well, what the hell. All right, here's a hard attack. Hard attack on Berlin strings again. on LA scoring strings 
and heart attack on Adagio. Okay, it doesn't have any, but you can layer other patches if you want to, but it's worth noting. Okay. Um, all right, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to show you um, something I've made with all the sections playing together. So you can hear how the library combines as a, as a whole section together. I'm going to do a pass through on each version and listen out for how, listen, this is a good way to check for the sound stage whether, whether that's going to work for you or not. You can hear very easily um, in this comparison how dry the libraries are or how not dry or how wet they are. Let's start with Adagio. I should point out too that um, I haven't just copied and pasted MIDI, I've actually played in each section the same, but using the, the, my knowledge of the libraries and, and the different requirements of each library to try and make it sound as similar as possible. Um, so Adagio did that quite nicely. Let's try LA Scoring Strings. Hollywood strings. None of these are perfect, by the way. They were just uh, a pass through, just correcting anything that glaringly was bad to me in MIDI afterwards. Here's Berlin Strings. I'm just going to pick, um, play all these together now, but I'm going to solo different libraries um, throughout the climax point of this little piece that I've written here. I found this really useful in comparing very directly the, the way that the libraries blend together, and you can really hear the sound stage coming through um, very clearly as well. And the, li the libraries are really different in this aspect. It's quite, it was surprising to me, actually, to see... Uh, the difference. So listen out, I'm not going to talk for this one, you're going to have to watch the screen here to see which library I'm actually soloing at any time, uh, but I hope it's useful to you.
just a bit of string stack love at the end there. All of them together sounds terrible, so I'm not even going to try. All right, I did say I'll touch on mic positions. Let me just change this Berlin string to a different mic mix. I've got the surrounds at um, the default level, and I've just wound down the closest just a tiny bit so that they're not as prominent. This is just another option. Um, the mics in Adagio can go very close as well. The, there's not as much difference in the Adagio mics as there is in the, um, the other ones. I'll show you just quickly. So I'm using a mix at the moment. I'll just use a close one quickly. Great. Okay. Um, I hope you've you've got a good, a better idea now of what they all sound like, especially if you're someone that's thinking of buying one of these particular libraries pretty soon. Um, what I what I've done is in the links below in this video, I've actually made a stem of each of these available to you, so you can try your reverb on the stems if you like and see how it sounds. Libraries like Hollywood Strings probably do need a bit more, and LA as as well. In fact, all of them probably need a little bit more for my tastes. But um, so yeah, you can try them out in your door and and see how they work. Um, I guess one of my main motives for making these videos is to help inform better decisions. In the sample library world, uh, more often than not, you don't know what you're buying until you actually buy it, which I find really frustrating. Um, and while it's still kind of true, I hope that these videos will help guide people to to make better decisions. Um, for them. So, I mean, they're all wonderful libraries. They're not perfect. They all have strengths and weaknesses, which hopefully come through a little bit here for you to hear. Um, so you can decide for yourself. I think that's about it for this first video. The next video, I'm, I'm going to compare short articulations um, in libraries. I'm thinking that video three will be about the articulations and features that each library kind of covers and has. Um, and there's a, a few more that I've got planned as well. Um, if you've got any ideas uh, for future things that you'd like to see, feel free to leave us a suggestion in the comments below. Um, also, feel free to check out my SoundCloud link below if you'd like to hear some of these libraries in context. It was very hard for me to actually do this and not touch EQs and not touch um, settings and things like that. These are these are not this is not showing the libraries in their very best light. Um, I hope you can understand why I've chosen to do it this way. I just wanted to show you exactly what you would get if you were to buy that library right now. Um, each of these libraries is capable of more. The programming can be much better. Um, but I, don't, I didn't want to spend four hours and show you guys that, oh, yeah, look, here's, here it is out of the box because I've spent four hours on it. It's not really out of the box. Um, so, yeah, um, thanks for joining me. I hope you stayed awake. Thanks.